What up, Scorpios? Coming at you with your Celtic cross reading for August. Gonna ask for advice, insight, and guidance like the general from August 2nd to August 22nd. And I know I said I'd stick to recording videos Saturday to Tuesday, but I'm bored. So we're going to cut the deck and draw your first card. <sighs> Seven of Pentacles. Earth energy. Probably waiting for good fortune or something to turn out well that you've invested a lot of time and energy. And maybe even love. Oh my god, I did. Two of Wands. I feel like you're also making a major choice whether to keep trying with something or to walk away and it's something that you're passionate about and it's because it's making you emotionally unstable is what I'm hearing. It's making you unbalanced. Page of Wands might be walking away from a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or maybe getting communication from a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Aries, Leo is walking away from you, or you're walking away from whatever it is you invest so much time in. You're making that choice because it wasn't worth your time. That's what I'm hearing. You got the Knight of Swords. Could have air in your chart. It's air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That maybe you want to move towards after this. Maybe you're finally communicating your feelings and you don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. There's that too, Scorpio. I feel like that tail's just lingering around in the background. And you're trying to be peaceful and spiritual and cool about things, but that fire is burning beneath the surface. Yeah, see, it's a conflict, arguments, blockages. I feel like you're probably like this close to getting in a real bad verbal argument with someone, so I'm gonna pray about that. <laughs> They're air sign, fire sign, or earth sign. There's somebody with those elements in their chart. Or maybe you have those elements in your chart. The magician. So it's like, I feel like you're in a, I almost want to say a traumatic situation or something that might traumatize you or it's very aggressive. Dealing maybe with a past relationship. But you've got all the tools to get out or you're thinking of different ways to go about handling the situation or they are. Either that or someone's manipulating the entire situation. Yeah, I feel a very manipulative energy in this. Whether this was 
started because of manipulation. Woo, it's way too many cars that just came out. I feel like a lot of secrets are going to come out, or this happened because secrets came out. But there's a lot going on you don't know about Scorpio. Yeah, it either has to do with love or a love offer or a water sign. You know, a water sign like yourself, Scorpio or Pisces or a Cancer. Or, like I said, relationships, especially if a like, Cancer's in your seventh house like it is mine. Let me air the deck out real quick. Real tense energy is real emotional. It's like love and anger. Eight of Cups. I feel like someone has walked away or is going to walk away. Maybe you walked away from a water sign or someone walked away from you, water sign. Maybe you're both walking towards new love. Or maybe someone wants to come in with a love offer. You want to come in with a love offer, but this other person doesn't want it. It's not the type of love that they're looking for. Got the Seven of Swords there. So if you're dealing with an air sign... I feel like they're in constant debate with should I stay or should I go because they feel like maybe they're missing an opportunity if they go but then again at the same time they're like am I really losing anything or you're feeling this way about an air sign. Yeah I mean in the, the outcome either way you look at it Shit's complicated right now. People are conflicted. Might be some financial issues. I feel like financial issues has a lot to do with things here. Like maybe someone can't take care of themselves or someone was given too much and someone was taken too much. I'm going to pull three cards to see if I can get any more depth about this scenario, Scorpio. We got the hangman. One foot in, one foot out, don't know. Should I stay or should I go? I feel like this is sitting in an X soul connection. Maybe feeling you don't know if this is your twin flame or not, or if it's just a soul connection. You got a queen of pentacles. So you could be choosing Scorpio between an air sign and an earth sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone with Earth in their chart is one foot in, one foot out. Or you're one foot in, one foot out about an Earth sign. Who might possibly be with a water sign? Mm. It's got you up late at night thinking. It is, uh, yeah, I feel like you keep wanting people that are not available emotionally or in relationships of being deceived by people that are codependent, Scorpio. I feel like you need to hope, wish, pray, and dream of different things. <clears throat> more overall stability and blessings and to vibrate high in self-love than worrying about who you're going to be with, who you're going to love, and who loves you because it's bringing you the wrong kind of love, Scorpio. Yeah. Not too bad, though. 
feel like communication really just needs to be had and maybe the focusing on work if you're focusing on work is a good thing something resonated please do comment <clears throat> like if you dig the vibe subscribe till next time